If I were to describe Junior League in one word, it would be community. I would say family. Impact. Empathy. Friendship. Action. Connection. Hopeful. Empowerment. Networking. Important. Fulfilling. Life-changing. Strength. Inspiring. Pioneers. Remarkable. Legacy. This organization started as Service League in 1946. Service League, there was a handful of women who'd lived in town for a long time and they went out in the community, found uh, projects that needed to be done, and then trained each other to do them. It was a small group then. The year I was president, I went to the mailbox and there was our letter saying that we'd been accepted to be a, a member of the Junior League. We were looked at and still are looked at as the leaders to come in and address community issues that need to be addressed that maybe um, don't have other ways to be able to be addressed. Junior League has enriched the community to the extent that I can't even imagine a city of Las Vegas not having a Junior League because they have been at the forefront of so many, so many important things. I see Junior League everywhere I go. We have helped thousands of people over the years. So many forces and services have been created by Junior League members over the years. We've done so much with children and education over the last 70 years, and I think there's Junior League markings everywhere. If you wanted a library, we brought you the libraries. If you wanted the Ronald McDonald House or the Shade Tree Women's Shelter, we brought you those. If you wanted a museum, we brought you nearly every museum in the city. Anything that you can think of, Junior League has touched. It has been instrumental in establishing the Nevada Museum, the Spring Ranch, Art in the Park, DARE, uh, Sun Youth Forum, to name a few. We've done some very effective advocacy projects on behalf of children and women and have published legislative advocacy booklets. We do these things not for praise. We do them because we see the need in our community. There are so many ways that you look around and you don't necessarily realize that Junior League was there at the start, but we were. Health of Southern Nevada was founded by the Junior League of Las Vegas, and we um, came out of a committee um, that the Junior League had. I can tell you definitely that the Junior League, um, your legacy is, Help of Southern Nevada is your legacy. That's a million people um, that have somehow, some, some way needed our assistance, and we're able and have been able to do that because of the Junior League. The Las Vegas community is thriving now, culturally and otherwise, and I feel like a lot of those efforts are due to the visionaries that were members of Junior League years and years and years ago. And I know from Discovery Children's Museum perspective, we are very grateful that the women of Junior League had that vision so long ago because we are now celebrating 25 years. Junior League had started the Shade Tree Shelter for women. We've developed projects to support those women and teaching them confidence and skills that they're going to use and also giving them a little bit of a break by entertaining their children, reading them books, and having a lot of fun with them. The Ronald McDonald House Charities of Greater Las Vegas got started because of actually the Junior League. Um, it was There was a time when the medical professionals here in Las Vegas realized that there was an unmet need um, and they saw families and parents of um, children who were getting medical care here sleeping in their cars, uh, sleeping right at the bedside, um, and they saw that there was a need for temporary housing for these families. Um, so these medical professionals actually contacted Junior League. And from there, we formed McCoalition, which is a group of 17 uh, men and women in the community that were interested in starting a Ronald McDonald House. It took us 11 years, but we did it. And um, it's a thriving home now for children and their families. I realized that League taught that you could do anything. Even if you knew nothing about it, there wasn't anything that wasn't possible. With all of us working together, 
and with the wonderful mission of Junior League to train professionals to get that done, I've been amazed at how many things that we've made, uh, we've made available to the community, things we've gotten done. And I think we should say happy birthday, Junior League. This is your 70th year.